Hi friends, welcome to Laxmiles 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about how to create a join in Tabby. Let's get started. To create a join, connect to the relevant data source or data sources. So we can connect to one or more than one data source while creating a join. These can be in the same data source such as tables in the database or sheets in a spreadsheet or different data sources. This is known as cross database join. That means we can connect to the same data source like a different sheets from a spreadsheet or we can connect to multiple data sources which we call cross database join in W, be it Excel or Oracle or Teradata or any other. If you combine tables using a cross database join, Tableau colors the tables in the canvas and the columns in the data grid to show you which connection the data comes from. So that means while you are, uh, for example, let us un assume that I have three data sources. I am joining a spreadsheet and Oracle data source and a Teradata data source, all three together. And while joining it, we uh, we call this join in W as cross database join. So it will define each and every data source with different colors. So Excel with one color and um, Oracle with another color and Teradata with another color. So likewise, we have three different columns will be assigned while creating a join. So let me open W desktop and show you how to use or how to create joins in W. I have opened W desktop. I am clicking on data source. I have taken sample superstore data. And let me show you how to get this data source as well. Let me open W desktop again. As soon as I open W desktop application, I can see saved data sources available over here. I'm clicking on sample superstore data. So as soon as I click on that, I can see sample superstore data has been appeared in our W desktop window. Now I am editing the data source. By default, W takes relationships as the default option to combine tables. Here, when I move this cursor, you can see noodles over here. Noodles is nothing but relationship. So, this is a logical layer. So, this whole canvas is called logical layer. And this is a logical table. Orders is a logical table. And when you click on it, you will be able to see the tables inside logical layer. So, this is called physical layer. When you click on it, this is a physical table. And you will be able to do joins or unions required over here. So now we have orders data available within the physical layer or we have orders physical table available within the logical layer. Now what I am trying to do is I am trying to join orders with returns because I want to have a look at orders as well as returns in W. So before joining this, let me show the columns available over here. So we have a lot of columns available, but everything is related to orders over here. Now let's join with returns. Now I am selecting returns and bringing it to physical layer. So by default, we have inner join automatically got selected on while uh, bringing the returns to physical layer because we have order ID in common for both the data sources. So by default, it has taken order ID and performed inner join. We will be able to change the join type as per our requirement. If for example, if you want to get only the common columns and the matching records coming from the left table, then we should go for left left outer join. Uh, or if you want only 
the columns from the right table and the matching records from the left table, then you should go with the right out design. Or if you want all columns together, though it's matched or unmatched, then you should go for full outer join. So now let me select left join and see the selection has been changed over here. The Venn diagram is varying as soon as I click on it. So if you now check the columns over here, we have 22 fields in orders and let's check how many columns are available in returns so we have only one field available for return okay now let me go back to orders again so here when we select the relationship is right we will have this segregation because these three are logical tables now we are performing relationship for orders to table and order to returns in the logical layer. Now let me click this and check here. So we have all columns coming from both the tables will be displayed over here. So if you see here, order ID is coming from returns. Returned is coming from returns. So these two columns are available in returns. So if I remove this join, you won't be able to see these two columns. Only 20 fields will be available. So now let me bring this join again and see what's happening here. Now let me change this. Now again we can see it's coming from data source returns and returned column. And another column is coming from returns as well, which is order ID. So why, once you join this, you will be able to see all the columns under one table. So this is why you create a join in Tableau. And based on your requirement, you will be able to select whether you need inner join. That means only matched records you'll be getting. Or uh, you need left join, you can go with that. When it's required to do right join, you will be able to do that. Or if you want all columns together to be displayed in a single table, then you can go for full outer join. So uh, this is from the same data source. Uh, this to create cross database join, you can add the other data sources available over here. You can select the required data source for you or search for the like for example, if you wanted to connect to Oracle, you can search for Oracle and click on this to connect. As soon as you click on it, then you can see the data sources connected to it. Or if you want to connect to JSON, then you can you will be able to do that with that as well. So yeah, here we have the JSON available, but it's disabled because it's not a professional version. Or if you want to uh, you know, join the text table or CSV, then you will be able to do that with the text file. Yes. So, like this, you can add one more data source, and then as soon as you add it, you can see it, see um, a data source displayed over here, and join it accordingly. Uh, let me check by taking a text. Let me take this. So as soon as I add a data source, right, it will display like this with the different colors. Like I said, cross database join will be highlighted with different colors. And if the data is matching or if we have any common column, then we will be able to perform join using the common column. If not, we won't be able to do that. So this is how you can do multi database join in Tableau. So for the video sake, I'll just create a dummy calculation to join the data source. Though I don't have common columns. So now I've joined two different data sources. One is a spreadsheet, other one is a text file. So this is what we call cross database join in Tableau. And we'll be able to uh, figure it out because it's um, highlighting the spreadsheet with blue color from which data source it is coming from with the name as well. And the another data source text file is highlighted with orange color and we can see the uh, highlighted color over here.
So this is how you can identify from where the data is coming from. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks for landing at my channel, Lagsmiths31. If you like my video or like my content, please like, share and let me know in the comments what could have been better. And if you have any questions for me, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.